I've made my way north, 1,300 kilometres to be exact, to the beautiful coastal town of Onslow. With the Mackerel Islands only 22 kilometres offshore, this place is perfect for the avid fishermen, snorkel, scuba diving, four wheel driving. They have newly built resorts and caravan parks. This place has it all. Now I'm gonna be showing you some of the hidden secrets Onslow has to offer. So I'm standing out the front of a huge fuel tank that used to supply fuel for the submarines in World War II. But I bet you, you can't guess what's on the other side of these walls. I'm here with Fiona, who works at the local visitor center and she's gonna show me around. So this is what it is. This is amazing. <laughs> it's something you don't really see every day. Can you tell me a little bit more history? So it was a man named Hayden Stein and his wife and three young daughters that took up residency here at the end of the 70s, early 80s. She found these chalks down at the local news agent and she obviously spent a lot of her time entertaining the kids in here. So what would you like to see done with this place? Oh, well obviously to have it preserved as it is so that it'll be here forever. But I also like the idea that people have to come on the tour to see it, that it's not just open to the public. This place is really impressive. When you visit, see how many names you can name of the characters on the wall. I think I'm at about 20. Cobbler, Dumbo, Humpty Dumpty. We're here at Neil and Judy Baker's Shell Museum. Now this is quite a collection. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? So Neil and Judy Baker have been living and collecting up this way for about 60 years. Probably 70% of the collection is locally and a bit from over east and a little bit from overseas as well. I'm going to take a bit of a closer look. What one is your favourite shell? My all-time favourite, as well as Neil's, was his albino shell. The albino conch shell. So that's this one down oh, here. Wow. I'm here with Paul Hanlon from the Shire of Ashburton, who's going to help me out with a little bit about what's happening in Onslow, and especially for next year for the total eclipse. So Paul, where exactly are we? So Lockie, we're about 10 k's out of Onslow now, at a place we call the Termite Mound Viewing Area. So we're here just before dark, is there a reason for that? So whilst it's an awesome place to see the termite mounds, it's actually a really good place to view the night sky. One focus we have here in the Pilbara in Onslow is the dark sky tourism. So there's something big happening next year. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So we've got the total solar eclipse on the 20th of April next year. We've got a number of events planned, the street festival down on our beautiful foreshore. And we're also looking at maybe a concert as well. So it's gonna be a big week. That does sound amazing. I might have to come back up here. Mate, you will. It's a great place. Bring a boat, have an adventure, get out there and see what regional Australia has to offer. Ah, thank you so much, man. One more secret is Old Onslow, which was built in 1885 for the wool trade to get the wool onto the big ships. But due to cyclone damage, it had to be moved in 1925, a bit further down the coast. Now what's left here is a little bit of ruins, but what makes it more exciting is the Shire of Ashburton have designed an app that can take you all around the old town and give you all the history you need. I just love coming to old towns like this and reading about the history, but I've got one more secret to show you and it's the reason why all of this exists. So I'm here at the mighty Ashburton River, which flows from Newman, 680 kilometers all the way to the coast here at Old Onslow. If you haven't been to Onslow, then you should put it on your list because this place has everything for everyone.